Hi there, I'm Eitan and welcome to Wix Fixer. This is Velo 101 or learning JavaScript with Wix code. And this video will be the introduction video, which I'll go over some key elements of web development and how that connects with Wix and Velo, as well as providing you some tools that you'll need to start this journey. So let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so first of all, let's take a step back and talk about web development. So if you're not familiar, most websites that you see are built using three tools, which is HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Each one of these is a different type of file and has a very different type of way of being written up. Uh, but in general, if I want to put it in simple terms, so HTML is what is on the web page. CSS is how it looks and JavaScript is what it does. So JavaScript is basically what gives functionality to the web page. And nowadays, this isn't so clear cut. Everything's a bit of a mishmash and you can write JavaScript in your HTML and CSS and your JavaScript and everything. So, you know, saying that each one has a very specific role might not be as true as it was in the past, but in general, that's how those are divided. And what Wix does is it basically takes these two top things, which is HTML and CSS, and it creates Wix elements, which is what it uses for the drag and drop. Uh, so whenever you're dragging and dropping something onto your Wix editor, then you're basically as if creating HTML and CSS. It's the element is already written up and it's already styled. And you can change some things using the editor, and that actually changes behind the scenes, possibly the CSS, maybe the HTML of that element. And Velo is what is parallel to JavaScript. So Velo is basically what allows you to create additional functionality in the Wix elements beyond what is given to you through the editor. And the reason that they're parallel is not only because of what they do, but basically because Velo, in many ways, is JavaScript, uh, but it is limited by the structure of Wix, and that is something that we'll get on and talk about in future videos. So if you were typically learning web development using a boot camp or from scratch, then you'd probably learn it from top to bottom. So you'd learn HTML and then CSS and then JavaScript. That's the classic path. And what learning JavaScript through Wix lets us do is it basically lets us skip over HTML and CSS. And we will talk about those in the future. And there are ways to implement pure HTML and CSS in Wix. And I'll teach a little bit about HTML and CSS when we get to that point. But if you're really just interested in JavaScript as a language or in just implementing functionality on your Wix website, this allows us to really skip the HTML and CSS and jump and learn pure JavaScript. And using Velo, we can learn, I would say, 80% of what JavaScript does and the important parts. And there's just one thing that we won't be able to learn, which is something that's called manipulating the DOM. Okay, and that is basically changing HTML and CSS using JavaScript. So that is something that's not possible use, using Velo. And instead, in order to interact with the Wix elements, we're going to be using something called Wix APIs. And here I link to, and I will link in the bottom uh, description of this video, to some really important documentation, which is one, the Wix API documentation. Uh, if I hop over here just to show it to you, basically what it does is it just lists a lot of different pre-made quote-unquote recipes of things that we can do using Velo and ways that we can interact with the Wix elements and other Wix functionality using Velo. Another very important thing is the uh, MDN JavaScript there are other JavaScript documentations. I personally like the MDN one. There's also the W3 school one, uh, and that's over here. And this basically explains a lot about plain JavaScript, which we also need to know about in order to use Velo. And last but not least, there's the Velo forum, 
where you can, uh, you know, tap into other Velo users and consult and read previous answers. And I found this personally very useful when I was first learning how to code. And I did my journey in a similar way. So I actually learned JavaScript, first of all, through Velo, and then I took a boot camp and brushed up on other general JavaScript techniques and capabilities. So this is definitely a path that can be taken. And I think that it does offer a lot for somebody who is a little bit hesitant about learning how to code and doesn't want to jump in head first uh, to web development and need something a little more visual and a little more tangible to learn with. So Wix can really provide that because you have the Wix elements, which you can just drag onto screen and you have it there. And then you can write JavaScript code, which interacts with it and is very visual. So in the next video, we're going to get started with actually doing some coding, but I hope that this gave you enough background to decide if you want to embark on this journey and if this series of videos is for you. And I do encourage you to like and subscribe if you want to follow along. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.